I was in the uh, U.S. Army for two years. I was in the Navy and I served six years. I served uh, probably six years active duty. I started out in the United States Army for five years. I did four years in the infantry unit. The transition from military to civilian, the hardest thing I've done. It was harder than, than going to boot camp. You go home and it's, you sit on the couch and you're like, now what? What applicable job skills do I have? After I got back from Iraq, I really didn't know what I wanted to do, so I ended up meeting a guy that was in construction, and he's the one that got me into it, so I made the transition from the Army to construction very easy because we travel a lot in the Army, we work hard in the Army, we're outside in the Army most of the time. This is what we do. There's a lot of similarities between uh, construction and the military. In the military, you have a mission, you have an intent, you have the orders given. Here, it's a project, same concept, mission, goals, objectives. Transition is super easy. It is all about teamwork. It's, you know exactly what the expectations are. You have the plans in front of you. You work as a team. You take pride in what you're doing. If you look around, you've got backhoes, you've got trucks, you've got surveyors, you've got engineers. Everything that's used in the military is used out here. You know, if he shows leadership skills and the ability to be responsible, which a lot of our veterans would already have coming into it, he's got the opportunity to be a foreman, be a supervisor, potentially lead one of our project sites. So the opportunity not only to get paid, but to advance is strong. Construction work is uh, serious work. It uh, can be dangerous. And so we are all brothers and sisters out here that we look after each other and watch each other's back. We all started somewhere and all of us started the same way. And then that's what we remember. So we try to promote that and try to help everybody along their way, get them trained to where we got a good crew. That's what it's all about. When I look at my workforce, I want guys and girls out there who take pride in what they do. And when they take pride in what they do, they tend to work safely. They tend to work productively. You find a lot of that in the military. You find men and women who take pride in what they do, who do quality jobs each and every day. Here, I've learned a lot of hands-on. I could take those skills with me later on in life and apply them anywhere. I've got my son working here with me. He's learning everything about blueprints. He's going to classes, uh, NCCR pipe fitting. Great career where you can come out here, do the job, complete it, look back, and see what you built. Be proud of it, just like you served proudly wearing a uniform. The NCCR stuff made sense. It was a clear progression again. It gave me the opportunity to, to get my certification in, in a craft. Now I'm skilled, I have a, a craft I can do something with. For our veterans that are transitioning, we'd love to have you in our business. There are plenty of opportunities out there. Be persistent, look for opportunities to train, do your research, think about it. The construction industry needs help and you guys and girls out there are the ones who can really help us move forward.